Hello YouTube. Um, my apologies for the for the vertical video, but I'm about to start walking with a. Uh, where did it go? There it is, with a fountain drink from Taco Bell, uh, Taco Bell Cantina, downtown Phoenix, and also a bag with a little bit of my leftovers in it, as well as all my legal papers in that uh, form explaining the whole procedure I need to go through to make an appointment to browse the free public archives, state archives library. Still a little frustrated about that. So anyway, it's uh, still Friday, May 19th, 2023, 3.50 p.m. And uh, I've got really amazing, great news and some kind of shocking news. And uh, but first, I just want to say the last video ended um, because my phone overheated. So not only did I need to cool off and get hydrated, but my phone needed to cool off. I was saying it was getting hot. It's definitely cooled off since uh, since I went into Taco Bell. Although, although I'm not 100% sure if, 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 if it's cooled off. Not hundred percent sure like if if it's cooled off or if uh, feels like it's cooled off maybe I've just cooled off you know and got hydrated that could be it so um anyway uh, oh well wow, there's fixing potholes out here uh, Wow there's a sign I've never seen before. <laughs> Lift that way. I guess that's the let the people know that if they called for a lift, not to wait for it right here. So, um, so yeah, uh, I may as well just cut right to the chase. Um, my car's finally finished. I can go pick it up. <laughs> You know, I, I had just gotten to the point I had given up. I would given up. And I was so frustrated because I'd taken three trips out to Rob's shop. And fuck, I'm going to miss that train. Whoa. Brian Adams with Joan Jett. That sounds fun. Rod Stewart in concert with Cheap Trick. Wow, how old are they now? I've seen Cheap Trick, uh, Cheap Trick live a couple of times. They put on a great show, but man, they were old the last time I saw them. That was in like... God, what year was it? Probably... Oh, goodness. 19... 1990? Maybe 91? I think that's the last time I saw them. Uh, was it the Jefferson County? It's either the Jefferson County Fairgrounds or the Adam County Fairgrounds in uh, Colorado for a KAZY festival show. They put on a hell of a show, but God, they were kind of old then, and that was a long time ago. Oh, yep, I missed the train. I probably could have ran and caught it, but... Yeah, I ain't, I ain't running nowhere. Uh, Phoenix PD, now hiring. Call the recruiting team. I don't know why I'm promoting that. i just been seeing that stuff everywhere. So not happy with Phoenix PD. You know, they could have just... They could have just said that my story and their story didn't jive and that both of us did things at Costco. You know, that both of us did... I don't know how they consider that him brandishing a weapon at me is acceptable, but me defending myself against this brandished weapon is assault. Anyway, I really wish Rob... I've, I've been so upset at, at Rob just for the whole... him not answering his phone and the text message is basically saying I'll wrap it up tomorrow and I really 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 wish that he had just texted me and let me know what the hell was up 
But what he told me is that his uh, his mother, who's like in her 80s, uh, slipped and fell in the bathtub, probably taking a shower, you know, shower tub combo kind of thing. I don't know that for sure. I'm just kind of adding to try to make it make sense. And um, seriously injured herself and that he's been trying to take care of her. And that today's the first day he's been into the shop um, all week. And he started, the first thing he did, he says, finished up my car. But uh, it's like, enjoy your cold air conditioning. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go get my car and enjoy my cold air conditioning. But uh, now I kind of feel like an, like an ass with so many of the things that I've said, but I've just been so, you know, uh, I don't know, a little communication goes a long way. So cold, beef, cold, cold beers and cheeseburgers now in the spot where uh, TGI Fridays used to be, looks like. My brain's been going in places I could pick up another karaoke gig. I don't know why I'm wanting to do that again, but I am. I really need to focus on getting my damn Amazon job back and getting that to peel, not letting the time go on it. Uh, I told Rob about what happened with Costco. He really thinks that I should go in and try to talk to the management at Costco. I don't know. I kind of want to use my attorney to get get a copy of the uh, get a copy of the video. A surveillance video from that night. Assuming I still can, like not all places keep it so long, but get a copy of the surveillance video and um, and uh, just kind of see, you know, because I mean, everybody's memory is imperfect. And certainly my mental state was not particularly good. But I, I still feel like he came at me aggressively and unnecessarily when he should have just seen that I was in the process of checking out a scooter and just given me space and not said a damn thing to me. Let me go about my business of checking out a scooter because what was I going to do once I checked out the scooter? Probably I was going to leave. Wasn't that his goal? To have me leave? So don't bother me and I'll leave peacefully. Like, just... Oh. Kind of like that interaction with President Trump last week on CNN, right before he finally called the interview a nasty woman <laughs> or nasty person. I forget how it was, but God, they, they sounded like first graders interrupting each other, being snippy. But, uh, but yeah, he, uh, uh, he, um, um, yeah, I, and I'm sure, you know, I mean, my reaction to him was not exactly the most positive thing, but in my defense, I was really in a fragile condition. But certainly he brandished a weapon at me before I did anything in defense. And really, which is the more dangerous thing, little tiny landscaping rocks or pepper spray? Anyway, the whole thing is just freaking ridiculous, and I can't believe that the police would would bother to charge that. Yet, they just let people smoke fentanyl all up and down on the other side of the building. In large groups. Apparently that's acceptable, but defending yourself against a, a rogue... Uh, defending yourself against a uh, rogue uh, security guard is I'm not sure why I'm still walking I just when I just miss a train like that it just sucks to sit and wait for the next one but I have I have no way of knowing if I keep walking this way if I'm gonna make it to the next stop before the next train makes it to the next stop but I don't know at this point it's been really therapeutic to just 
walk and talk. And uh, if anybody's listening, thank thank you for your support. So I still have been unable to remember what the hell it was that I was doing before I walked over to Chase Bank. And it's really bugging me, that whole whole memory hole thing. Like, And I, had Rob not called, I was actually getting ready to go back through the videos and see if I could watch that and figure out where the heck I was coming from. Because I distinctly remember walking across from like the main strip mall area. But I don't recall, I don't recall going into any of the businesses there. Wow, look at that electric motorcycle scooter thing. It had music on it too. He's moving pretty quick. I'm curious at what point, like, you need to have license plates on something like that. And he was far enough away from me, I couldn't see if he had plates or not. But he's moving damn near as fast as the rest of the traffic. Oh, and did I mention no progress on my, uh, I think I mentioned it, no progress on my electric scooter. Uh, my friend came over and we tried to work on it uh, one morning this week. I think it was Tuesday morning, maybe Wednesday morning, early in the morning. And there's a, a recessed bolt that's stuck in the battery pack that's locking it to the, to the shaft, which is locking it in place to the motor controller. And it's a, uh, it's a security Torx bit, uh, and it's stripped out, so I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get a drill. Oh, all these things that I need to do, like, they're going to be a lot more doable as soon as I make it to my car. I just need to make it to my car. Of course, I could, I could, I could take a Waymo to Rob's shop, but... I'm absolutely worried if I try to do that again, that it's once again going to... Hey, it was there at one. You know, I totally could have stopped at that last bus stop over there and caught the Route 1 and probably got to 44th Street quicker than waiting on the train. The whole Route 1 train thing here is just so weird to me. But I mean, I get the purpose of the Route 1. The Route 1 stops roughly every quarter mile, whereas sometimes this train goes two miles without having a stop. Um, so my brain keeps going back to me walking over to Chase Bank and then not knowing why I walked. So I closed my personal checking account at Chase Bank. Um, last November, and I'm sure they sent me a notice, maybe an email, maybe a written notice, and I'm sure I ignored it, because seriously, with all the crap I get from all the banks, I, I can't read everything. Oh, and let's not forget, I had that whole period in time where the, uh, where the mailman decided because I wasn't emptying my mailbox that I no longer lived at my address and all that mail just magically disappeared or got returned back to sender or whatever. Anyway, I never saw any notice that my free checking account, my free personal checking account that's never had any kind of fees whatsoever, which I have had for decades. I mean, I'm not sure how many years. I, I feel like, I mean, I opened it long before Lily was born though. SME Rapid. I have no idea what that route is. I have never heard of that one before. Gonna have to look that one up. Um, anyway, the, uh, um, yeah. And, and for me to explain, well, I mean, I guess I don't have to explain all the history of my, my numerous bank accounts, but they all exist, exist or existed for a reason. And generally, I've just kept them all because why the hell not? I'm going to park a little money in there, use it when I need it. 
And I guess this is when I kind of kick myself in the ass for not paying more attention to stuff. But I never really worried much about that account because, well, didn't, didn't use it much and it was a free account. Opened it a long, long, long time ago. Um, and I guess to fully explain that, I guess I, guess I got to explain a little bit about what's happened on my checking accounts over the years. So every now and then I mention about how my Wells Fargo account, how it says on it, card member since 1996, I think. This is something the tellers comment all the time. They're like, whoa, your, your, account's, your account's older than I am. And, um, which, you know, uh, which I feel like it gets me a certain amount of respect at Wells Fargo Bank. Usually it feels like it does. Wow, that is a really awesome building. That looks like it is not in any use at all. Um, anyway. Anyway, the... Uh, well, that, that, that account was semi non-existent or at least it was in a negative bad account status for a long time um, and that time period was between uh, before my divorce shortly after my ex-wife and I separated um, and, and my divorce the, the thing that was the craziest about my divorce is my ex-wife and I had the same first name so her married name is the same as my name and yeah, it was really adorable and cute and funny until it, until we weren't together and then it wasn't. So, yeah, she had no problem using, accessing my banking stuff, even stuff that I had from, you know, prior to me being married. You know, I mean, a, 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 a married couple in Arizona has marital power of attorney where one spouse can do something on behalf of the other spouse. But generally speaking, like, they need to be a signer on the account. The banks will still kind of stop it to a point. <laughs> But nobody really questioned, questioned her messing with stuff of mine, even after we separated, because she had an ID with a matching name, Look, looked legit. And to be fair, I don't know if I overdrew that account or if she overdrew that account. I know she was messing with it, but I know I was in dire straits financially after we had separated. City of Phoenix, 1101 East Jefferson Street Transportation Department, Traffic Services. Traffic Street Transportation Department, Traffic Services Field Offices, Office and Training Center. Wonder what all they do there. So Anyway, um, anyway, um, they, uh, anyway, at one point the, the account was overdrawn and I didn't have any money to fix it. I, I don't think it was 100% my fault. Maybe it was. That's a long time ago and I really don't know, but I do know she was messing with it. Anyway, the account didn't cease to exist. Now, many years later, I, well, not many, but, you know, some years later, I, I managed to straighten that up, and they actually ended up, uh, when I kind of went back to Wells Fargo, um, they actually pretty much reversed, like, every fee that at one point they were saying that I owe. They just were just seemed to be glad to have me back as a customer. And I got new cards, which still showed from, you know, uh, um, you know, showed member sense, and it had the the year that I originally opened my Norwest, Norwest Bank account back in the 90s. Um, anyway, I know somewhere in the midst of that, I also banked with B of A. And I think that was an account that I opened when I was married. So I remember going through hell trying to get the wife removed from that account. Which has nothing to do with what went on at Chase. Anyway, to get back to the Chase thing, it, there came a point where I just stopped banking. I just simply stopped banking. Seemed like the only way to keep keep the ex-wife out of my stuff. And um, 
now made it to the next light rail station. So, anyway, I stopped, I stopped banking, and she, uh, she stopped messing with my banking, and I learned how to live without a bank account. It can be done, people do it. And generally speaking, uh, the majority of my income was all cash, all cash gigs. Mostly karaoke, mostly DJ, mostly karaoke, cab driving, whatever, just cash. I wasn't, I didn't need a bank account for any of that. My, my whole, my whole thought at that point was, fuck banks, I'm over it. That caused me way too much disaster after my divorce, and uh, yeah, solve that problem, I won't bank anymore. And it was all well and good until I landed a karaoke gig at a Wait. corporate franchise location for uh, the next train will arrive in two, minutes. two minutes. This is pretty perfect timing. That was a nice walk. Um, so, so yeah, the, the next, uh, anyway, so, no, I got to rewind back farther than that. Sorry, no, I had some place that I was hosting karaoke for before TGI Fridays. I don't remember who it was. Anyway, they insisted on paying me with a check. It was a pretty sizable check. Um, at that time, I was already a... I was back to being a cab driver for uh, VIP Taxi. Back to being a cab driver for VIP Taxi, and they were... Uh, all these historic Phoenix things. Um, so, uh, yeah, I don't really have a free hand to pull it out with, but it should be in this pocket. Dang. Shit. Dang, it's not in that pocket. <laughs> Shit. Man, let me see what this train is coming. They talking about some two or are we on the right side? Yeah, she said transition over to Jet. Nope, stay at Torton Jefferson. Fuck. Hey? Yeah, she said transition to Torton Washington. She said stay here. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to see. Oh, really you know, I know I'm supposed to be prepared to show it if asked. Oh, Somewhere at some point, my stuff got mixed up here. I'm gonna have to wrap this up because I need to find my bus pass, but I um, guess I'll explain the banking situation later. So I need to organize my pockets and they need to see my bus pass and I don't seem to know where it is right now. Thanks for watching.